and welcome back to a new outfit rating video where I will rate your Red Dead outfits. But before we begin, why don't you leave a like and subscribe so I can buy myself a jacuzzi and become a hot tub streamer, as I think that would really up the quality of these outfit rating videos. But without further ado, let's just start rating some outfits. But before I can actually start rating the outfits, I'm just going to tell you how I do it. So, I have a 5 star rating system, where 1 star is the worst and 5 star is the best. First up, we have Fasty, who you might remember from my last video, he was the one that got the first 5 star rating ever in this series. Now, he has a new outfit, which I also think is pretty good, in my opinion. Sorry to spoil, it's not as good as the first outfit he sent in, but it's still a solid one. Everything fits together, but it's still not quite as unique, you might say, as the first he sent in. So I have to give this a 4 star rating. I just want to add that it is a really, like, it's a real outfit, you know? So it's more realistic and probably more immersive than the first one, but at the same time I just like the other one better. Next up we got Jaeger, who also was in the last video. Now, this outfit is also pretty good. It's very, it fits the style of Red Dead, sort of, it's not something a cowboy wouldn't wear, if that makes sense. But at the same time, it's a little plain, a little, not boring, but just not as unique or, you know, it's a very normal outfit. So I'm also gonna have to give this a 4 star rating. Next up we got my friend Jokes, I'm sorry about the low quality photo but it sent the picture like this. So it was kind of like just zooming into the moon with the Nokia phone, it just, the picture doesn't get good. But despite that I'm going to make my best effort. Now I think the theme is Peaky Blinders, I haven't watched it but it's like a classy sort of thing and it looks like he manages that pretty well. But uh, yeah I really can't tell much from this photo because of the shitty zoom. But uh, it looks like a decent outfit, so I'd probably give this a four star, but just as a punishment for the shitty quality, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 star. So send in a better quality picture next time, jokes. Send the right format, please. Up next we have Lawrence, who sent in this outfit. It's uh, an O'Driscoll outfit, which is from the story, which is a rival gang, and I gotta say, that I looked into it like the outfits and this is spot on so I gotta admire that it's extremely well put together considering the theme if it wasn't for that I wouldn't give it that high rating but this is just extremely well and he just absolutely understood the assignment so I'm going to give this a 5 star rating. Now next up is a very special participant, me. So I'm obviously not going to rate this myself, so I'm gonna ask you guys to rate it down in the comments below. I'm just going to let you know sort of the theme, which is, or well, it's not really a theme, but I've made this outfit based on the outfit I wore as Arthur in the story. Of course, you don't have to care about that, it's just, it's the reason I love this outfit so much. Up next, we have uh, Outlaw. Now, I'm not sure if that's the theme of the outfit, but it could look like that. It is a pretty sweet outfit. And, uh, but I also gotta admit that uh, the pose makes it 10 times cooler. How do you do that, by the way? If any of you know, if it's an emote or something, just tell me how to do that. I wanna post like that in front of Vegan when I kill him. But yeah, um, the outfit is cool. I love the blue sweater. It's a lot of people that just wear black, so this is a nice change. So uh, I'm gonna give this a four and a half star rating, just because it's not quite there. It sort of looks like it's low level but that might be a good thing because if you're not low level then you might just trick someone to grief you and then you can absolutely destroy them so that could be a negative and a positive i guess now over to the next which is shadow bedless now this outfit looks very much like something i wore when i first started playing reddit online before i started to get high level stuff and yeah i just think this is a really cool outfit i love the red and the black they fit well together it's the same theme i have for the same color theme that i have for my outfit as well uh the bowler hat i'm not i'm not a huge fan of it it just it's not my style but i guess it looks kind of classy so i definitely see why you would use it so overall this is a really cool outfit that i like and sort of it's very much my style so i'm going to give this a 4.5 uh, star rating just because it doesn't have I just don't I'm not a huge fan of the hat that's pretty much it 
the next outfit comes from Thylord and now we're now we're talking this is probably like one of the best outfits I've ever seen in Red Dead uh, it looks a lot like the English like soldiers from Pirates of the Caribbean I'm not quite sure if that's what they're supposed to look like but yeah I just really this is just it's just perfect in my opinion and so it's obviously a five star outfit and yeah I'm just uh, a huge fan of everything about this outfit last and certainly least we got my good friend Megan who you might remember from countless of my Red Dead videos now this outfit is actually decent like I like it a lot it could have definitely used I think the double bandolier like on the cross would be better than just the one and also the belt is a little distracting but other than that this is a very good outfit so I'll give this a four star rating just because I know it has more potential so I hope he will improve the outfit like I tell him to that's all I had for now if you want to submit your outfit please join the discord server down in the description uh, there you can send in outfits plus you can find people to play with and you can even be in one of my Red Dead videos not that being in one of my videos is a huge flex but we definitely have a lot of fun when filming them so if you would like to have fun then join the discord server also I'm going to be streaming Minecraft this Saturday meaning tomorrow meaning the 15th of January so I would greatly appreciate it if you stop by say hello and just uh, yeah it's just gonna be some chilling and building but I greatly appreciate it if you stop by so that's what all for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. You have to watch my video, you have to watch my video and like and subscribe.